Hey, thanks for joining me today for another video in my series, Ingredients That Sound Harmful, But They're Really Not. Today's ingredient is cellulose. Yes, cellulose. But I'm going to tell you some information that's going to make you feel and sleep a whole lot better. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Now, cellulose can be found in the ingredients list of so many food items in store, including shredded cheeses, breads, even tortillas. And I remember years ago, before I actually learned what this ingredient was, I wanted to quit eating it. And if you're not familiar with what the cellulose really is, then welcome to the club and don't feel bad. I did the same thing. Now, lots of people do get upset about wool pulp being in their cheeses and foods. Yes, cellulose does come from the cell walls of wood pulp or cotton seeds, but that doesn't mean you've got sawdust in your food. It's actually a harmless type of fiber and can also be found in fruits and veggies. Cellulose can be found in the outer layer of fruits, vegetables, and is useful for people with hemorrhoids, varicose veins, constipation, colitis, or even diverticulitis. It also helps to get rid of cancer-causing substances lodged in the colon wall. Food sources of cellulose include apples, apricots, asparagus, beans, beets, bran flakes, celery, mushrooms, oatmeal, onions, pears, cabbage, carrots, broccoli, peas, peanuts, whole grains, and Brazil nuts. Yes, Brazil nuts. Now there's a second type of cellulose known as hemicellulose, and this one's less chemically complex than cellulose itself, and it helps with weight loss. It relieves constipation, lowers the risk of colon cancer by fighting carcinogens in the intestinal tract, and food sources of hemicellulose include, again, apples, beets, whole grain breads and cereals, cabbage, Brussels sprout, but it also can be found in bananas, green beans, corn, peppers, mustard greens, eggplant, and radishes. So, the next time you see the word cellular as an ingredient listed in your food products, don't be so nervous or upset about it. The cellulose that's being put in the food has been obtained, most likely, from fruits and vegetables, and it's a harmless type of fiber. Did you already know this? You probably did. If so, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, do you think you're going to be a lot less nervous about eating this foods that have this ingredient listed on the label? Let me know in the comments as well. And be sure to subscribe if you already haven't and click the notification bell so you don't miss any parts of this video series on ingredients that sound harmful but really aren't as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for the next video in this series. See you next time.